I think tennis is a perfect sport to empower young girls and young women for the benefits that it teaches you uh, as an individual. Because when you're out playing tennis, although uh, it's an individual sport, you are working in teams. You're working with your other uh, competitors in the program, you're working with your coach, you may be on your high school team or collegiate team. So it's teaching you how to work together, how to communicate, how to be stronger, how to work hard, understanding time management. These are all the things that you need to be successful in life and in business. And so as we get more girls in there and they really can feel confident about themselves and, and feel empowered, they will go on to be great leaders in the sport, whether it's tennis or another sport or, or just in business as a whole. So it's, it's so important to make sure that we get more young girls into our sport. If you're regularly active, then you will tend to have a healthier, happier life. So if women are feeling excluded from that or are excluding themselves from that, for whatever reason, then they are missing out on something really important. I think we've also seen that, um, especially with teenage girls, is if you get them playing sport and being active in ways that suit their needs and that they're comfortable with, it gives them more confidence in other parts of their lives as well. It gives them ownership of their own bodies in a different way as well. So I think it's a really important part of wider gender equality initiatives anyway. Our strategy is about women in rugby as opposed to women's rugby and you know people say that's semantics but it's actually not. Um, you know it's about women coaching men and it's about women in leadership positions and if we can do a lot to actually focus on changing the dynamics and diversity of our leadership then that will help in sustained growth of women's rugby.